in, in his like top player, like I'm going to win and be the king of Smash mindset. He's honestly one of the best players in SoCal. Yeah, it's crazy that like he's not ranked this season. Yeah. I mean, the one reason why he wasn't ranked last season is because he was going a whole bunch of secondaries for like tournaments, and he went like one and two or zero oh and two for like four or five tournaments. Mm, that's interesting. I guess like he carries like a uh, Sheik, Wario, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, it's kind of hard to justify being on PR when you have, like, a list of, like, 30, like, players that you've lost to. Yeah. And, like, oh. some of them are, like, little tinny, you know? Yeah, 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 I understand. That's the thing, you know, Spy that is definitely one of the better players in SoCal, for sure. Oh. Where's he gonna take this time? Oh, wow. He just keep repositioning himself for the down tilt tech juice. So good. You know, I try and catch uh, Leo dropping shield right there, but not gonna fall for it. Gets the nice. fair off stage. I know Leo takes the first stock. Nice. I think he got him before like the start of him is up B too. I just really saw edge guard. Oh, nice. No jump here. Can go for another one. Yeah. Yes. And no, he still had his double jump. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I thought he double jumped from the ledge. Uh, I think. No. I guess I just saw it wrong. Uh, yeah. I he thought def when he definitely double jumped off stage. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I just didn't see close enough. But there's the up tilt. Again, catching uh, that jump from ledge. Pretty common option from Lucina. Okay, drop oh. shield to that dancing blade. You know, that that move is one of those things where, like, you see, you know, Mars and Lucina players use it a lot just to, like, kind of catch, like, roll off for spot dodges. You know, if you use it right, you can kind of mix up your timing and just make your opponent keep on guessing, like, when they're actually going to drop shield. Yeah, that's just something that people will get better at as the game goes on. Just like timing your falling aerial to mix up like parry timing or like any type of uh, call out from your opponent. There you right go, Mortel now. throws him off stage. Going for the low recovery, but not going to find it. K9 jumps into the back air, and you know, Leo takes the second stock right there. And you know, I feel like Leo's just like, okay, you got me that first game, but now I'm going to do what you did to me. I'm going to play a lot more safe. I'm going to play a lot more patient. Just kind of like play my game and not yours. Yeah. They're, they both can play so well around like having a percent lead because they, they would punish really hard and they're just really good at baiting out their opponent. Like Wolf has insane and really release so like he doesn't really have to just like super hard approach a lot of time. He can just like jump in, drift back, like Kevin's great nerf and everything. But he also has to have the down tilt tech chase going kind of far off stage. But uh, you yeah, know, he got the tech, and you know if he didn't tech it, it was, Leo had enough of a percent lead to like kind of go for it and justify yeah. it. But you know what? Is that going to be fatal? And yeah. the answer is no, because he catches the jump from ledge with the nair. Yeah, that's another good thing that uh, Lucina has, and, and Mark too. Uh, this is a really strong area to catch people when they do like neutral get up or 